today in our 12th installment of an introduction to theology. We're looking at the lines from the Apostles' Creed, I believe in the Holy Catholic Church and the communion of saints. Essentially, we're talking about the church today. What is it when we say church that we're really talking about? Well, Thomas Oden in his book, Life in the Spirit, uh, summarizes different approaches to the church, and I, I like his summary. He talks about the church in three uh, uh, aspects. The coitus electorum, the assembly of the elect. Corpus Christi, the body of Christ. And communio sanctorum, the communion of the saints. Now, in that, essentially, he's talking about uh, the difference between coitus electorum, those who would focus on the personal aspect of, uh, of, of uh, belonging to Christ, on the importance of being saved, on the importance of uh, having a, a relationship with the Lord Jesus. Uh, typically, this would be associated with the evangelical church. The Corpus Christi, the body of Christ, is that aspect of the church that sees itself as fully embodying who Christ is. It's more liturgical. There's a heavy emphasis on orthodoxy. This would be the Orthodox Church, the, the Anglican Church, the Roman Catholic Church. And then finally, the Communio Sanctorum, uh, the communion of the saints, is the expression of the church as it relates to society, as it looks at the world that it lives in and tries to affect change. Many traditional Protestant denominations would identify with this movement. Um, it's interesting that uh, in the book of James, we find all three expressions. James 1, 2 to 4, dear brothers and sisters, when trouble comes your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you'll be perfect and complete, needing nothing. This is a heavy focus on the individual, on uh, a, a person's response to what Christ has done for him. There's a focus on evangelism, conversion, and discipleship. The focus of the teaching is in the new birth, uh, the, the problem of the world that it focuses on is the problem of sin. In chapter 5, verses uh, 19 and 20, the whole book of James ends with these words, My dear brothers and sisters, if someone among you wanders away from the truth and is brought back, you can be sure that whoever brings the sinner back will save that person from death and bring about the forgiveness of many sins. The focus there is instead on the body, on uh, what happens when someone has, has left. Uh, in uh, liturgical type churches that would focus on this, uh, they, they focus on apostolic teaching. The sacraments come to be very, very important. As they teach, they focus on catechism. There is a set body of knowledge that they want people to understand. And the human problem is heresy. Let's get them back into the fold. The final, uh, uh, the communion of the saints would look at, for example, James 2, 14 to 16. What good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith, but you don't show it by your actions? Can that kind of faith save anyone? Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing, and you say, goodbye, have a good day, stay warm and eat well but you don't give that person any food or clothing, what good does that do? Uh, this church uh, looks at that kind of a situation and says, 
That's what we live for. They focus on service. They focus on social action. What is it that's going wrong in the world and what can we do to help? Reconciliation is their key focus. And as they look at the problem that the world faces, they would probably say it is injustice that's the main problem of the world. Well, Odin's point is that we all need each other. We are all the church. Uh, the church should contain all three elements, the individual focus, the corporate focus, and then a focus on the world that we live in. If we only focus on uh, individual conversion, there is a tendency to forget about the expression of God's love to the world as a church. If we only focus on the authority of the church, uh, an Orthodox church can easily forget the important role that the Holy Spirit plays in changing an individual's life and in transforming the society that the church finds itself in. If we focus exclusively on social change, there can be a tendency to forget the truth of the Bible, the call to be different. There can be uh, a, a tendency to uh, forget about the call of the Christian to be separated from the world, to live a different kind of a life. We need each other. We need all three aspects. The church needs to understand how an individual changes, how the body comes together and reflects Christ, and then how those individuals in that body go into the world to transform the world, to become what God intends it to be. Mm -hmm.